Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just gonna let you know that I just woke up. I have to film this intro right now because I have a lot of things to do. So I'm sorry that I look absolutely disgusting. Um, we'll get into that later on. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is what we're doing this weekend. Um, Sam and I are doing a marriage retreat starting tomorrow. Um, and we are taking the kids. Obviously, we don't have an option, uh, which is great because they have childcare and everything is free. This is done by the army. So tomorrow we are heading out um, like 1.30 in the afternoon to go to our destination, uh, check in our hotel, and then we will start everything that night. Um, the downfall is it is only a one bedroom, one bed place that we're staying in. Um, we sleep trained our kids when they were four months old, so they've always been in their cribs at four months. Um, they do not sleep with us. They don't sleep in the same room as us. Harrison just turned one, as you should know. Um, so he's been in his room for a long time, eight months. And Jackson has been in his own room since he was four months and he is now almost two and a half. So yeah, so we're going to have to figure out what to do with sleeping arrangements or we're just not going to be sleeping. Um, because Harrison will fall off the bed, so he'd either have to be in between us, but I'm afraid he'll crawl over us and it'll be a mess. But anyway, we're having someone stay the um, we're having someone stay at our house to watch Odin. Um, so we're not having to board him or have someone just come to our house twice a day, let him out, because um, he has to be kenneled if no one's here because he has separation anxiety. Um, so I have to get the house clean for that, and then I have to start packing. Um, yeah, and also we're actually testing out a babysitter tomorrow for the first time. Um, so most of you know I am starting classes in January, full-time student, so I have to have either daycare or a nanny. Um, I've been looking around. I found someone I really like. Um, she does watch a couple of other kids, so I'm throwing my kids at her to see if she can handle the craziness of two extras. Um, and if so, we're good to go. And the last thing to do on my checklist is to pay for the classes. Get an ID and a parking pass and then start school. Um, so yeah, so we're testing her out tomorrow before we leave um, and hopefully she'll give us a thumbs up so we can just get this nightmare over with and start school in January. So anyway, I would take you along the journey um, of us getting the house ready, of us packing, um, trying to figure out what we're going to do for sleeping arrangements. I'm going to take you along with us during the retreat in case any of you are interested in doing this in the future with your um, spouses, if you're in the military, if you're not in the military, um, you know, you should look into marriage counseling. Um, I think a lot of the time when you have kids very early on in your marriage, um, you kind of put marriage to the side and you just focus mainly on your kids. Kids are the most important to me, um, which has kind of put our marriage on the back burner. And I think that happens to a lot of people in general, but especially in the military, um, when our spouses leave a lot, um, it just causes some issues so we are going on this marriage retreat to try to freshen things up uh, possibly get into marriage counseling later on um so we'll see how it goes so here we go mm -hmm. 